those of you who tune in to Cool the Craft on a regular basis, you know my next guest uh, simply as Heidi. Our eco friends know her as Eco Heidi, and I know her as my sister Heidi. One of Heidi's creative passions is buttons, and today she is sharing more ideas from her button collection. I'm delighted to welcome Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Hey there, and I remembered to press the button too today. Okay, today I'm in my sister's house um, in uh, the eastern shore of Maryland, um, Candace's house, and Tiffany's here too. So Tiffany's actually right down the hall from me. I'm in Candace's um, office, which is a wonderful office. It's very magical. You can see like the, the pink castle behind me. So I'm really so excited because there's so many things in here that are just fun. But I'm going to show you some more things today on buttons. And I'm working with the Blumenthal Lansing buttons. I love their buttons. They have every kind of button imaginable. They're beautiful, uh, colorful shapes. They have, you know, they have plastic ones. They have um, ceramic ones. They have just all kinds of them. So when she sent me some beautiful samples, I just, I just had to work with them. So a couple weeks ago, I did a bracelet on the plastic water bottle, and I made these buttons um, because I had seen the Bloomington Lansing um, booth at uh, the National Craft Show. I thought, I've got to make some button flowers. So here's some of the button flowers. I'm going to show you how to do them. Um, I actually use a, a skewer, wooden skewer, for the stem. I'm going to put this down now so you can see my work space. And because I'm not in my studio, you're going to have to bear with me because I'm kind of in a little table here in the corner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my skewer with a strip of fabric that I've torn. I like to tear the edge because then it gives a little bit more um, texture on, to, on the skewer. And I'm going to take a little bit of glue. I'm going to put it on the end of my stick. And I'm going to put it like about a half inch down on the stick. Can you see that? And then I'm going to wrap. Turn it around. I'm just going to wrap and go down and just wrap the whole thing. And that's going to be my stem. And if you don't, if you don't have enough, by the time you get down, I didn't even figure how much. You can just kind of rewrap and just do it a little bit uh, more loose. When you get down to the bottom, I'm going to cut. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue to kind of seal that on. And if you guys have any questions, I cannot see my screen at all, so just hold them until I get to the end. Okay, there's our stem. Now, I've got all kinds of the buttons out here that came from the package of the Bloomingdale Lansing buttons. There's all kinds of, there's, there's flowers, there's these wonderful little felt things that come in with them. And all I do is I start to stack them, and I've got one here stacked. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together with some just some embroidery floss. And in order to kind of use the embroidery floss like a needle, you need to put some glue on the end of it. So I use about um, just a little bit of glue. I kind of just twist it together. And it actually kind of, it gets really stiff if you just wait a few minutes. And I use it as my needle. And all I do is I just kind of put it through. All the buttons. Some of the buttons are going to have four holes. Some are going to have two. So just make sure you just you get some glasses here. Make sure you just uh, go through the holes. And so I came through the top. I'm going to go up through the the bottom. You see, just keep going up. And actually, on on the actual button uh, flowers, you're going to do this a couple times. And I'll show you why in just a second. And see how that works as a needle? Because it's really stiff by the time you put glue on it. And we're just going to go like that. And then I usually go back down through to kind of gather them. This one ready. I've already got it. Um, move some of those aside. And I'm going to see how it's kind of stitched, double stitched there. I'm going to lift that up a little bit. And I'm going to put some glue. Just like that. And I'm using, today I'm using the Aline um, Quick Dry Tacky Glue. It works really quick and puts it together for you really fast. And I'm just going to put my stick or my stem that I prepared right up in there. And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to tie it. 
really tight. Like so. And then I'm going to just cut it off like that. And you have your flower. Now, I also brought some ribbon. Because, you know, it's, it's amazing when you go out and you show people how to tie just a simple ribbon. But a lot of people don't understand that there is a way. I have to tie it this way first. There is a way to get your bow to be straight. And that's if you always have, when you go to tie it on, if you always have, use the bottom part first. See how you have, when you tie it on a stick like, a stick like this, the bottom down, that's what you want to tie first. And you're going to create, whoops, <laughs> I'm doing this upside down backwards. Okay, if you have, use that bottom one first, come out around with the top one, you will always have a perfect bow. And you have to kind of work with it a little bit, but it won't be lopsided. That's kind of a hint from many, many years of tying bows. You see, you'll, you'll have the bow where you have the two loops and the, the two um, strings hanging down. And I kind of cut it like so, like so, and there you have it. Now, let's say you want to, to sell these. I think they're, they're great for, for like um, selling in like a, a boutique or a, um, anything. I put a cute little tag on here, and it, let's see if we can see what it, it says. Button, button, who's got a button flower? And then on the back, I put, let me read one more. With, on the back, I typed it on the computer, and I just typed a little thing that says, what do you do with your button flower? Give it as a gift, buy lots, uh, make an arrangement, make up a game, use for wedding favors, package tops, baby showers, and just have fun. And then I put my name on it. And that's all you have, that's all there is to it, button flowers. Now, I did um, have Tiffany put up a couple of other pictures on other things that I've done with buttons because I just love buttons. So, Tiffany, if you could show maybe one of those other pictures and um, I'll just, just to kind of give you um, just some creative fun. There's a frame covered with all kinds of um, buttons. Um, it's actually a mirror and um, attach a wire to it. And I actually layered it. I, I put a lot of buttons on top of buttons. And every time anybody comes to my studio, as many years as I've had this, people absolutely love it. Okay, and I think there's also a box there. There's a box. And that's actually just on a paper mache box. And then there's a little round paper mache box on top. And then, Tiffany, do you still have that, um, the mosaic one? Oh, we kind of, I think we showed, there's putting buttons onto, it's a paper mache bowl and using it like um, for mosaics. Just lots of fun. So that's what I have right now on the, um, the button flowers, so we'll uh, go through and